Everybody, welcome to West Wing Studios. This is where I do all my recording uh, and where I recorded the new song, One Small Step, One Giant Leap with Taylor McLean Miller. We did all the tracking here. Um, I did all the video editing in here. Um, we did it all here, really. And um, it, it was an amazing project. I thought I'd run through some of the gear we used and talk about the video, run the video before I put it up online and um, you know, let you see the behind the scenes of all the making of. Uh, and I'll talk you through it. So basically, I recorded on this system, which is a Pro Tools 10 system, recording system. I've had it for a number of years now. Um, and I have the Control 24 board that I got from Steve Mandeli from the band Six Wire. And um, I am using pretty basic uh, uh, input stuff. I've got a D8 Sonus device for eight channels of ADAT, and then I've got the 003 interface. So I don't really have any, any great analog gear on the front end. I use lots of plugins that have emulations. Speaking of emulations, this awesome mic right here, I'm going to recommend it with a 100 out of 100, 10 out of 10, one of the most awesome mics I've ever run across. I actually have, you can see it over here, a uh, Aventone CV12, which is a C12 kind of a clone, but not really, but it's, it's a good mic, two mic. Uh, and I got this new ML with the modeling technology, which allows you to switch between a bunch of different mics, great mics. In fact, on this recording we did, we used the C800 uh, model, the Sony C800 model, which is a very expensive thousands and thousands of dollar mic model. And it is every bit as good or better than my tube mic, probably better. Um, and awesome. And you can switch between some of the greatest classic mics out there. You can get the Blackbird mics, which I haven't got yet, but I need to do that. But this, ML1, get this. Uh, if you're a vocalist, it records. This is awesome. Uh, Kurt Martin at Sweetwater's my guy. Called him up, get him one of these, and tell him I sent you. Killer, killer mic. It's totally worth it. He also turned me on to these AKG 240 headphones one time on a sale. I think I got them for like 70, 60 or 70 bucks. Awesome headphones. God, I never had such a good set of headphones. I, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Anyway, I use the JBO monitors. Um, these are the eight inch monitors. I forget what the model number is, but you know these, these, these are the basic consumer ones. They do translate awesome though. Uh, I think they're, I'm not their LSR. I forget what they are exactly the, the model number, but if you know music stuff, you'll find these in all the studio, you know, stuff at Sweetwater and uh, they're just you know your basic thing so um, they translate really well though the horns are very um, very very transparent and I love the translation to my car which has a Bose system in it and uh, I get a very good translation of the bass and top end on it and I'm um, always surprised how close so I really like them I have these KRKs as well the six inch ones but they've never been quite as accurate as these JBLs have been from, from here to my car. So I think that these are actually a little more accurate, and I like them a little better. They're also 8-inch versus 6-inch, um, and the KRKs tend to push a little more top, mid, and uh, but they're good too. But I use them for my video editing primarily. Um, so anyway, what else did we do? Um, we tracked... Uh, two versions of the song. One was in a lower key, and we put it out there, you know... To, for a few people to get impressions on, there were not good impressions. People didn't really like it. And um, so we key, put the key up, re-recorded the whole thing from scratch, and uh, all of a sudden it was a much better response. So I think it really, we finally got to the spot we wanted to get to. We really worked really hard on it to get it there. Um, it's not that many tracks. It's, you know, maybe... You know, basically it's a guitar vocal thing with a few, you know, pretty overdubs, like a, a little bit of bass enforcement with a piano. But stuff that you would never notice if I played it live, it'd be the same to you. But but anyway, I've prettied it up a little bit. And her vocal, she just, God, she killed this thing. So I'm so proud of what she's done. Um, over here, I've got my keyboard that I use, which is a uh, Motif, older Motif Yamaha. I've used it forever iMac uh, that I use for video editing, not too old, a few years old. And uh, Final Cut Pro, which I'm not a real fan of, but it does the job. It's, it's pretty. It does great titling and stuff. I just don't want find the workflow that 
I was just not used to it, I think. I grew up on Vegas, and Vegas is really easy to use. So, so anyway, I'm going to do part two, and we're going to go watch this video, and I'll talk about that.